Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. I am joined by Derek. How's it going? I'm fine. And you? Excellent. I'm doing very well. Uh, so what do we have here? What What's going on in this replay? Give me, give me some information. What rank are you? Uh, what are your aspirations? All that good stuff. Well, I started playing HOTS for a year ago, something like that. But this year, I really started uh, trying to get better. So I, I found your stream, and that helped, help, helped me a lot. Yep. Um, last season, I was placed in Silver 3 and climbed to Gold, Gold 5. Nice. And, and this season, I was placed in gold five also but uh but i climbed i climbed to gold three awesome yeah. okay um so well that's fantastic congratulations on climbing but uh what are your goals for this season you trying to get into platinum or something yes yes i'm trying to to get to platinum and maybe more i don't know <laughs> yeah so right out of the gates, you play a little bit aggressively just for that reset onto D.Va. Um, just a couple things about their comp. Um, you know, Phoenix can be sometimes a little bit more difficult to kill unless his warp is down. Um, Sylvanas, a very good target to look for. Lucio can be tough to hit your E on. Uh, but aside from that, like all these targets are really, really easy to kill for the most part. Um, so. You go in here, but as soon as you, you start taking damage from multiple sources, including the towers, you should be preemptively using your W, and you still have your um, cyber agility. So you should just honestly W and then D over this wall and walk away to safety. Off of this, you have like you lose absolutely zero HP off of this entire trade, and you still get the mech from D.Va. Yo, Jhow, thank you for the host. Welcome, everybody. Uh, anyone in my channel who hasn't uh, hit up Jhow, it's Jhow4444. Check him out. I'm sure he'll drop a message in Twitch chat at some point. But thank you so much, dude. But yeah, so the E in and was good. You secure mech, but then, yeah, you see all this damage coming in. Your E takes you a little bit too far. And, like, look how much damage you take from this. And this is off of a heal from Karazim as well. So you would be literally full health off of that exchange. Oh, okay. W comes out a little bit late there. Don't, like, feel free to use those abilities... Um, more proactively because yeah, as soon as you hear that you know the noise that the towers make that like ping noise when you take aggro just hit the w don't take that damage and then just jump over the wall yeah okay uh and even here um your auto attacks are your power straight up i know you're a little bit afraid of the sylvanas but still when you have your um what do you have you have E coming up in two seconds, um, and you also have your D available. So you walk into this bush and you check it. This should at least be an auto attack Q, and then you can E away to safety. But you just kind of let her trade into you fully for this entire duration. You get a heal up, and then you walk away. At least do something back, like throw an auto attack, throw a Q. If all you're going to do is back up and, um, and tap anyways, at least look to do that. Honestly, I feel like this Sylvanas dies if your team pays more attention, because if you get an auto attack there you cue her triple shuriken right to the face her health is down to here she trades for with you for a little bit longer your kerazim is paying attention to you he has his w he can join in, in on this fight and help you out and he does give you a w there i actually think that sylvanas can almost die under these circumstances like look at her health bar and imagine if there was like two q's plus two auto attacks from you she's within e execute range i think i was looking for it but i missed the the auto Right there. Oh, okay. Missed the auto attack? Yeah, I didn't click her. Um, A, do you use A for your auto attacks? Yes, yes. I okay. use both. Okay. A would have just auto attacked no matter what. Okay, here's a good opportunity for you. Yeah, so this I is was typing. a free double kill for you if you're paying attention to them. And then another one over here. I was a little bit tilted this match because I was like promoting to gold four, then demoting to gold five, and it was like that 
like uh, 10 times yeah in that day so <laughs> it was a little bit tilted i can and understand no one was soaking bottom so i can totally I understand we lose two full waves bottom yeah that's absolutely brutal and you rotate top to catch the soak i understand that but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be able to see these plays even like typing at this point is actually really really bad because there are you, you straight up get a double kill right off of this if you d with an e range hit you don't even have to hit the the e onto this lucio just get in range of a single auto attack and he he dies and then you can switch onto the dahaka as well but you do miss this one because you type so just try not to let yourself get into that situation okay uh and remember my my guy this will help i promise you Every new game is exactly that, a new game. Every single one. So don't let what happened in previous games or demotions or anything like that change the way that you're operating in the current game. I know it's way easier said than done, but if you notice yourself carrying over, like tilt from a past game into a new game, that's something that you can you can actively work on as the player. Yeah, you can see I even say GG. <laughs> Don't do this. That's yeah, so bad. I don't do that. I was just really tilted this game, but I'm not like that. So. Okay. Um, even here, I I feel like you don't prioritize your auto attacks enough. So like there, you, single auto attack. This should be another auto attack. Another auto attack. Auto attack here. Auto attack. Auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Um, you're missing so many basic attacks. Uh, this is a kill as well. This Sylvanas is insane. Oh, the Q miss. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> Level 2 GG beats my record. Chat's going to get you for this one. I hope you know, anyone who submits a replay to me and, and you're toxic in chat... Derek, you were already toxic. You said GG. That means you're... So my chat is going to come at you. I hope you know this. They'll get you. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and she okay. stats me. So this this is a free Q. Uh, she dies if you land it. All three miss. Yeah. Oh, she does. The sticky back key. Hate to see it. Okay. But I kill her after. <laughs> yeah, just be a little bit more. I mean, she's dead here too. But you have to land the the, uh, the Q. You don't go in for it, hey? See, yeah, I would have super went. She backstepped me. Ooh, I'm in there. See, like even now, I'm in there. I've been in there for a week. Yeah, but so far, main thing is just focusing on auto attacks. Here you go. You're getting way more in here. Better. Just auto the whole time, literally 24/7. And you can, you know, you can move in between your, uh, or you can move while your auto attack is moving. So that's also very, yeah, very yeah. valuable. Okay, you guys just need 10 more gems, and then you have turn in. You catch this. Do not let this go missed. Okay, this guy's here. You lose a kill here by using your reflect or deflect. Yeah, I believe if that was two more strings of auto attacks and one Q. Oh, you don't have it. Okay, first you... You E onto a target, but then don't try to kill that target. This is gold, mid gold. So this is my problem with this play. Um, you just need to commit to the play that you're looking for. So let's watch this. Personally, I, I see this. Sorry. I think I tried to uh, E the Sylvanas, but I missed, so. Okay, so we're seeing now two kills on Sylvanas missed because of mechanics at two minutes and 45 seconds. Uh, so, so far, main thing is like 
um, your your mechanical ability. So you're missing a bunch of E's, you're missing a bunch of auto attacks, missing Q's. Because yeah, right here, it, I thought you were looking to uh, kill the Lucio because you E Lucio, but then auto attack Sylvanas. If Sylvanas gets E'd here, she's dead. And also, if all you do is auto attack here instead of use your W, and then you auto attack again and again, and then you step in and get your W, you, she might die. 305 damage absorbed. But at the same time, Lucio is shooting you and you reflected. I actually don't know if she dies there. The big thing, the big component is hitting your E. Okay, good. Rotate into mid so you pick up this soak. Yeah, I hate missing soak. <laughs> that mentality right there will actually carry you. Right, this guy's pretty insane. This is a gem donation game. Okay, interesting start on the camp. I mean, I guess you can. You're catching top. Everything's caught mid and they don't have turn in quite yet. A few more gems to go. Actually, do they get turn in off of you being down here? Because they have the gems. Doesn't look I like it think so okay so that one you just got to be careful of okay your team gets turned top it's good defend these honestly yeah I think you should look to defend those instead oh, holy shit you just donated me some money <laughs> Hey dad, just wanted to stop by and thank you for putting out such quality content. Started watching you when I was silver and just recently got GM. Wow. That's amazing. I just got a $10 donation from Wing Saber saying, Hey dad, just want to stop by and thank you for putting out such quality content. Started watching you when I was silver and just recently got Grandmaster. How long did that take you, Wing Saber? And thank you so much for the 10 American dollars. How long did that take you? I think you should be protecting the siege camp. Uh, just sitting up here and auto attacking this guy because siege camp plus the web weavers is insane. You get so much done bottom and like y your team has already represented 4v4 mid. You don't really need to rotate up. That's, that's okay. just what I would be doing. I think you just generate more pressure with it because now he's just going to free clear this. Because he can't stand here if you're down here. You're, you're auto... Excuse me, your auto attacks are just too much. Like this. Does he have burrow? Yeah, he does. Yeah, it's good that you ended up keeping it at least a little bit alive. She's just gonna bomb, yeah. What a lame hero. Oh, just about one more auto attack. Yeah, see, like, oh, you go back. Okay, he ends up dying. I really do think that you got to focus a, quite a lot more on your auto attack. So let's look at this engagement here. So, like, here you can be auto attacking to Haka, but. Okay, you send it in. He, like, right here, it's a single auto attack and he dies. Just one time, right there. Instead of using your W, you can auto attack and then W after, like, the second shot comes in and he dies. One year and 650 Hero League games and you get to Grandmaster. That's amazing, Wing Saber. Thank you for being here, man. That's so cool. Oh, I walked into the combo. Okay, now you should just go mid, clean it up, grab gems. Oh, she's insane. Wait for... Ooh, nice. Haha. <laughs> Your back uh, key is a little bit broken as well, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <I need him. laughs> no, I, B stepping's fine. B stepping is actually encouraged. B stepping gets in your opponent's heads. That's the way she I look did at it, it at least. First, so. Yeah, exactly. Now, I guarantee you, this Sylvanas is going to make a play in this game 
which she wouldn't have made beforehand, and it is a very poor calculation. I I am such a... I believe so heavily in B-stepping. Now I get more tilted because she almost did keep, so... That's the problem with Sylvanas. Honestly, you should just be matching her up here instead. Or at least one person from your team should, or your team should. That's the problem playing against the hero. Like, there's not much you can do under these circumstances. Spraying also gets in people's heads. Spraying is a very effective tool to try to tilt your opponents. Yeah, you should have just yeah backed right away, as you do. I think uh, Johanna was pinging too, so... Oh no, the keep does die, that's so rough. Yeah, you can see I was really tilted. <laughs> 70 mages on the team, no one defends her, question mark. That's a tough one. Um... You could have tried to defend and pressure her off of the keep, but then bottom loses a fort, and technically that is definitely worth it. It's probably what you should have done. It's just tough under those circumstances, man. I would have expected at least one of my teammates to go up too, to be completely honest, but... Yeah, I, I thought like Nazib or Keltuzad would go there, but... Losing a keep this early isn't really that awful, though. Okay. Oh, I'm also new to X Strike, so if you can help yeah. me with that. Okay, I will. Okay, so far, pretty good. Sylvanas is really the only thing that cheesed you. Chase her in right here if you can. Yeah, you should definitely be looking for her. She's just trying to cheese in the off lane. Honestly, I would just be matching her the entire time. If she doesn't, if she wants to play the classic Sylvanas, I don't play the team fights, and I just split the entire time. I would punish her hard for it. Now they're fighting you at thirteen. Again, just auto attack and watch the fight unfold. You see a root like this go through, eat it. Yeah, exactly. That's literally all you have to do as Genji. So you play this the pace of this one well. Let's see if you miss auto attacks. So you're chilling. Trying to turn in, you see them push in, whatever. Now just auto attacks, you're not going to get this. Auto. Don't blow your W like that, that is not good. You need to save your W. Okay. Um, auto attacks, auto attacks. Even if she's doing her auto attack thing like that, it doesn't matter. She tickles you, she does literally zero damage. You need that to stop you know, big things from coming through. Like a purification salvo, or maybe if a bomb gets dropped or something, you can't get out of it. All that sort of jazz. That's what you really, really need. It's you're kind of like your oh crap button. Um, here, yeah, exactly. You, so you're playing the outskirts of the fight. You're just landing auto attacks, which you should have probably auto attacked two or three more times within this. Look for one of your teammates to find an engagement. And this is exactly what you did. You wait for the root to go through. You hit the E, auto attack dead. You B-step at least once. You don't, eh? You just give it to her. No. <laughs> okay. Um, and you have the reset. So I just look for this. Onto this Dahaka, even. Yeah, just be hitting him. Auto attack, Q. So they, there you go. That's good. You got the reset. He has no way of getting out. Yeah, you have to play safe. And watch, tap, and look. Can you tap? No, 35 seconds. Don't see you guys realistically get anything further here. Top is pushing in. Auto attacks. It's like even this guy's insane, man. He's actually insane. He doesn't have E and he has four essence and he's walking up to you like this. You saw him use his essence up here. You saw him use his E as well. You gotta be more aggro on this guy with auto attacks. Even though they're 13, they're down numbers. They've got three down here and you guys have four technically. Like this should be an auto attack queue right away. They have no way okay. of killing you. Remember, you're Genji. Like, you have your E up in half a second. You have your deflect there, too. So just, like, auto-attack Q this guy. Walk in, auto-attack him, and then you just E him, and he's dead. Okay, you 
Auto. Oh, no, the auto went on the wrong target. It's fine. You're autoing the minions. Okay. So, yeah, mechanics proving to be a bit of a problem here. I want to make sure. Okay, so you're... That one went on to Dahaka. Your Q comes out this way. But it doesn't really matter. Actually, it does. Your Q could have hit him. And then your next... So you jump in. And your auto attack comes here. You could be moving into range to auto attack. And just setting up right in front of him. And auto queuing. You should have... Like, what are you hitting right now? Okay, hitting the minions. Or there, you could have timed your X strike as well. Right on top of him. There's multiple ways to kill this guy. But I think the biggest part was he wouldn't have lived if you just started trading into him right away. You had, I think, two or three opportunities to get in a sequence of auto attacks on him when he first stepped up to you, but then you backed away. And even here, as you're walking away like this, you can always be auto attacking. Even one or two. Okay. I know it might not seem like the biggest difference, but I promise you, like, you're. If we were to just look right now. Your damage numbers. 22,000, it'd probably be 30 or 31. His auto attack is actually disgusting. It's so strong. Well, this is scary. W and E away. You just have to back. Hello, everyone in chat. By the way, we're just doing this one replay and then we will be... Moving on to some Hero League, perhaps some World of Warcraft later. Okay, top's going to be equalized. Finding a fight would be fantastic. I'll just auto this guy. How are you so low? I think you sit in the W the entire time. I feel like this is plat. This is gold. Yeah, you're playing too far up in the fight, right out of the gates. Just gotta play not in a group like that where Phoenix can get unlimited value. And same with the um, same with the Dahaka. Should be just a little bit further out, trying to auto attack because you you basically take all of this damage from sources that aren't even directed at you. It's just kind of just happening. You're getting hit by the Dahaka W. You're getting hit by the Phoenix. Any tags you hear? Does that even kill you, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to risk it. Fair enough. Well, that's, that's really all that was, is you just got traded too hard into... Oh my gosh, mid... Go Are you kidding me? Yeah, auto these guys. You can you can get um, uh, multiple things here. Oh. Okay, did you get it? No. It sucks that you guys didn't get these kills before your turn in. That's brutal. You only need three more gems though. If you're faced with a situation like this where everyone's just bitching and complaining about Sylvanas, you can just go and kill her every single time. She'll lose in a 1v1 to you. So just remember that. Like, you, like the fact that she's getting away with this to me is absolutely insane. And now you guys know she's on your yeah, bruiser I camp. Saw, yeah, I saw that. Like, she's actually unbelievably wild. Uh, yeah. No, she gets away. Oh, okay. What rank is this? This is gold. So you should just walk in. What do you have? You have your D, E. So you E in. Um, if anything, either e. just walk in or D in. I know you're probably scared of forgetting the cap. Yes. But 
even so, like you use your alt instead of just Ding to follow her, you should just be auto attacking and following in her direction of her um, haunting wave and then Ding towards her. You should still have your E up, you get it there, but you should still have your E and your alt up, honestly, at this point. Wait for her to use her E and then execute her with it. That was just you played your cooldowns improperly. This guy blows everything. That's so brutal. She's getting away with murder. Alvin Mind control What is going on man? Do people actually play this style of Sylvanas? Like is this real? Yeah, it happens all the time <laughs> Okay, you guys are finally getting some push here. You still don't have X-Strike. Pretty big. Could have looked to kill this Dahaka through his adaptation. Okay, here you go. Yeah, one. It's smart to not go for Sylvanas. If you did, she dies, but it's pretty high risk. It's better that you just stay alive here. I like. I Here's... saw the uh, Phoenix almost killing Nazibu, so yeah. I tried to peel for him. No, that's good. I think that's better than trying to kill Sylvanas. Okay, you guys get the bruiser camp. Try to take mid-fort off of it. And again, let just be more conscious of what your teammates are doing at all times. It happened here when they had the Lucio and the Dahaka really low and you could have got a double kill and you missed it. But here you spend E on the camp. You don't have to. It's a 4v5 and you guys have all five of yourselves represented here. Let's, let's flirt with the idea that you have your E, okay? Like right here, she's dead by you. Instead of again, like leaving it up for your teammates to do it, just pay more attention to that because you will miss kills very, very frequently. Yeah, I think I missed like 10 kills this game. And it's just because you gotta hold your E and you use E on the wave there too. You really don't need to do that. Yeah, later I think I missed a kill because of that. I mean like this could have been an E that you had and now it's a kill, 100%. You have it here. Look at solo. That should have been a kill as well. As soon as you see that the damage from your uh, other damage dealers registering, just look for those kills. You had the okay. numbers advantage too, like Sylvanas was dead. You can absolutely look for that. Okay, now you guys just have to defend over and over on these turn ins, see if you can find a fight. Three represented top is hurting you guys really badly. Oh, he dies in that? That's rough. Yeah, you guys shouldn't have let them get turn in. You guys three stacked top when their only play was to turn in. But you got a kill on Phoenix. And like again, you clear mid instead of looking at this team fight. Like, So two plays back to back where you go off into the side lane instead of like right here. You're clearing mid when you guys know for a fact that they're on siege camp because they got turn in and this is happening your team recognizes it your team rotates down there's pings onto it you see it gets capped you should be with your teammates here especially now and you yeah so you start moving now yeah i think i didn't see that right away so i was late okay this is our time to shine right here okay mind control us into the bomb you hate to see it does he just sit it? Yeah, he does. What a god. <laughs> just sits it, doesn't care. And then just look to E right on top of this nerd as soon as she gets out right here. Really, eh? So why don't you E this? Uh, I was going to, but lose to boop me. Okay, so you don't have it right now. Five. Ah, that's why. Who did you spend it on? You eat the minions. 
Yep. Okay, so problem. Big, big problem. Because it should have been an auto attack right there as you did it, and then E right away. Dang it. Yeah, so be careful about using your, your E like that. I think our team just dies. Yeah, they're running it in pretty hard here. Heart of Tafiti, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome, my friend. Yeah, they really do. Don't you type. Don't you type. I don't. Just holding you accountable. <laughs> Okay, level 20. Do you go reset? Your Nazebo has 150 yes. stacks. Still locks in that vile infection. Doesn't give a crap. Okay, they have no turn in. You guys have turn in soon, so it's better to just play a little bit more defensive. Just pick up soak where you can. Or to get a turn in and perhaps uh, end the game if you can win a team fight. That's basically your guys' play at this point. And yeah, watching boss is smart whenever you can. You do have to be a little bit more careful of what you're doing here. Like you show it on the minion wave and then straight up face check into this bush and then walk down here and just queue down here. With everybody missing like that, if you if you do this in, in diamond, you die. Because yeah, you showed yeah. on that wave and then walked in without even queuing the bush. Okay, so now you guys got turn in. Now they have to fight you. You guys should just clear mid and look for a fight. Again, play the back side of this team fight. Look for any auto attacks you can. Don't get hit by random damage and then just follow up with CC of your teammates. Like this diva is insane. What is she bombing? Okay, see like this looks good. Hit nobody. I think it just hit one person. Okay. You should. I. I think you should just E. As soon as you see that instant kill under Dahaka, just play up on this wall and just E right here, and he dies. And you X strike, and you just hit the one. Yeah, that's unfortunate because your X strike would still be up here and you'd still be on the backside of this fight with a reset and then you could just look in deep for another kill. Wait, how did that not hit her? It's nice deflect. Yeah, the E resets in that choke, especially with your build would have been huge. You get that one reset, then you just use it back. You get so many resets from your build. Yeah, you guys do boss. Oh no! Yeah, he did. <laughs> no way! How does this get boned so hard? Turns in the six jammies, buddy walks up. I'd be pinging him back like it's my day job. Ping him back! Naz just doesn't see the play. This is the end of the game if you guys get this play. Uh, Cryptnot, I personally like quick cast on Genji Q. That was pretty bad that you guys missed that. Yeah, because this was the end of the game for sure for you guys. Because yeah, Nazebo gets Nazebo gets Vile Infection off the minion wave here. You guys push in with Vile Infection, Naz, Boss, and like, they, they have no way of clearing the minion wave aside from D.Va. 
Sylvanas will try, but then she'll just die. I rhymed there. Completely unintentional. So here, <laughs> the same thing I'd be doing, man. Just hit this front line and wait for your teammates to land big combos because you've got Naz. No matter what, Naz randomly hits anyone and that's like a kill secure for you. It's like right here. I mean, you could... Uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of sketchy. No way she lives. You could have looked to engage off that, but I don't know. I, I don't blame you. It looked kind of scary. You guys get to keep off this play anyways. Now you have to defend boss. Take boss? No, no, no. We defend. Yeah, you guys have to defend. Oh my gosh, she's dead. What yep. is she doing? Okay. Mind control into Diva Bomb, new HGC combo. Yo, it's pretty good, right? Where are you? Okay. Do you W this? Do you have it? I gotta watch how you use your abilities here. I feel your ability... Your biggest thing is micro. Which just takes time to fix and game. So what do you do here? One auto? Yep. Uh, doesn't even matter. She dies. Okay, so then you W nothing. Again. Gotta be careful with that. You literally use your W and absorb 54 damage when you're at 100% HP. Autos. Okay, your Q. Auto. Auto. This should be like a D away because you do not want to get hit by this guy. Or D over the wall. But you're still just sitting in his splash. Sitting in the armor reduction and you don't have your W for that. See, you do have to be way more careful about how you're using your W. Because you would be 100% health here. Okay. Do you see it? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Autos. So cool. Yep. See? Auto attacks, man. And a Zebo. Spider build. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, it works. It's just... I personally don't think it's as good. We have some very weird builds this game. We got spider build and Zebo. We've got freaking... Was this like a Q build? Uh, Kel'Thuzad? We've got healing punches on the monk. It's a wild... <laughs> we got a nuclear option on D.Va. It's a wild day here. We've got... Whoa, he's 95 stacks on advanced targeting. This guy's a god. Slow on W. Rapid recharge. This guy is just like... That's the Moonfair build. Which, Kel'Thuzad? Gold, by the way. Okay, your Naz is clear on top. Oh, careful about getting hit by stuff like that. I mean, this is such a free fight. You should be in here auto-attacking, man. In, 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 in. Okay. So when you have a 4v3, um, they have no tank. They have no nothing. They literally have, like, I think I would have to say one of the worst three-person combinations of any heroes I could ever imagine in Heroes of the Storm. And you have numbers advantage, and they're on your side of the map. Like, you have to be playing up here. This should be auto attacks onto anyone. Like, you could pressure and, and kill Phoenix off of this if you wanted. You just chase him into oblivion. But, like, look at your positioning. You're playing so far back. You're really, really scared. You're, like, concerned about Sylvanas. But look how close she is. She's not going to step in here. So you E, but it misses. Uh, but he should have died, like, way long ago. you got to be more aggro in these moments. Now you guys can look down to match. Just clear bottom. It's really the only thing you got to do here. Yeah, I think I saw Sylvanas and I was afraid that she would take another keep, so... Hmm. 
That sucks. Oh no, you guys get out. Oh, you have deflect up? Yes. One second. I see a 200 IQ play here from my boy. First off, I don't know why this DeHawk is playing so far away from you guys. It's like, oh yeah, see, he, he had a 200 IQ play. He literally just tongues you from the bush and you die. I don't know why he tongued this way. If he just tongues you, you can't deflect. And I'm pretty sure in his W, plus the armor reduction, and you getting hit by that bomb, full nuclear option, I'm pretty sure you die off that. Yeah, probably. Oh, so funny. I mean, if this is the style of Sylvanas you play, why don't you just play double support with Stukov and use massive shove instead? Like, oh man, what a game. Yeah, exactly. You guys just need 10 more gems. I needed, uh, I wanted to push with boss, but the whole team just uh, went back, so. Yeah, so it's good that you went back as well. You guys just need 10 more gems and you get them in the 20 seconds that Sylvanas is down. Uh, and then you guys get turn in and then you can likely end the game with it, which I'm seeing it here. Cool. You have turn in, you have late game, freaking Nazebo, Kel'Thuzad. This should be, be a free end. That's what's going through you guys' head. And it's going to be multiple. You just got to play slow. That's it. Wait for the web weavers to spawn up. I tried to type just care because yeah. the web weavers were not there. Yes, and that is the right call for sure. Just playing fast in this scenario is a problem. Again, you just get this Nazebo onto the core and it's game over. No way. Do you guys actually run it down and die here? Nope. Okay, one second. This is all so messy, man. How does this even happen? As live. 60 HP, my son. Oh, he uses his heal while he's in ice block. 19 HP with the 800 IQ W. Oh, you love to see that. What a beautiful moment in our lives. XDs. Okay, that was a good turnaround. Now it's yeah. literally impossible mm -hmm. to lose. Your biggest thing you have to work on is your, your auto attacks, landing your Qs, landing your Es, and just paying more attention to how your teammates play. Because there's so many times where you just get free kills in this rank um, because of just the way that people play. People will get chunked out by 50% just randomly. And if you're the one sitting in a bush there watching one of your teammates, you just get free kills over and, excuse me, over and over. This was perfect example. Early game, you sat up top typing to your teammates because they weren't soaking bottom and you missed two kills. I'm sorry, you miss a double kill. You get one of them, but you miss the other one. And it should just been a boom, bang, double reset, like kills, super free. Uh, bottom side here too, you were using your abilities on the wave and stuff like that when there's a fight taking place over here. You also prioritized going mid for the minion wave instead of looking down at the fight when your teammates were all rotating down and you saw that they were on the siege camp. So stuff like that, you have to try to eliminate from your gameplay. Don't type GG to your teammates ever. Uh, unless it's the end of a game and it says victory or even defeat GG. Um, 
I, it's so bad. I don't even know how that even happens. And I don't mean to flame you. It's just no one should ever type GG into chat before the game is over. It literally makes no sense. If you feel that way, just keep it to yourself, you know? Um, yeah, I've I just, never did that. It was like my first time. <laughs> that's good. I've, yeah, I just, I just, I've never done it either. I just don't understand the mentality behind it. But anyways, uh, work a lot on just landing those abilities. And the biggest thing, like I said, is your auto attacks. Like, I, I actually think you were missing probably 15,000 hero damage from auto attacks here. No joke. At least, man, at least 15,000, I think. Um, I wish there was a way to, like, look at your breakdown. I guess we would throw it into stats of the storm. But, yes, I do think that you're missing between ten and 15,000 hero damage in, in auto attacks that you could have very well gotten off on this game. Yeah, I watched this hit play and I saw that you know, I I missed a lot of autos. So. Yeah. Okay, well, you get those uh, auto attacks in there and uh, you're going to be looking good, man. Did you have... Yeah, I, I just played a game yep. for the coaching session and I was like, okay, I have to auto. I always <laughs> auto. Yeah. And it was just much easier. We won. <laughs> exactly. And and just be careful with your Ws too. There's multiple times that game where you use W when it was the last thing you should have used. You know, like it absorbs 54 damage, uh, your full health in like a numbers advantage team fight, stuff like that. So just be careful with your W. It is like your best tool in the game. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for submitting. Thank you. Okay. I'll talk to you later.